Hello, I'm Leia. I'm a master gardener, and today we're going to talk about humus. Humus shares the same root as human and humility, and they all come from the earth. And humus is what allows us to grow food successfully. So it's very important for gardeners and others to know about humus. Humus is technically uh, only half of the soil. The other half we talked about in the texture video is going to be the combination of sand, silt, and clay that comes from the parrot material rock. But humus is the organic matter, plants and animals, that are going to make up the other 50%. So the other 50%, about 5% of that is living organisms. Uh, that would be nematodes and amoebas and bacteria and all of those fungi that live in soil. And then about 10% is all of those things that have died but are not yet decomposing, recently dead. And then something like 25 to 40 percent are the decomposing materials. And then about half of that part of the soil is actually humus, which is the dead, decomposed parts of living matter, formerly living matter, that become rich, crumbly, wonderful, nutritious soil for all of the plants that need it. So let's look at the role that humus plays in aggregating all of these dead pieces into something that's really useful for your soil. So imagine that all of these objects are actually dead and decomposing matter like plant parts and twigs and maybe the decomposing bodies of different organisms. And they're all kind of spread through the soil. They're not really doing much good. They're kind of just kind of hanging out by themselves. But the beauty of hummus is that when there's hummus, it acts like kind of a collector, and it collects all of this stuff into nice clumps, also known as aggregates. And these aggregates are very beneficial for the soil because they create big pores or air spaces that oxygen and water and the roots of plants can all kind of get through. And the roots of plants use those pores to seek out the oxygen that they need and the nutrients and the water and the moisture. So these large aggregates are very, very beneficial, and this is what humus does for us in soil. Okay, so aggregates, why are they important? Well, humus is very important because it stores a lot of the carbon that's released into the atmosphere by the burning of fossil fuels, and it makes it possible for the soil to just kind of hold it there safely without contributing to this blanket effect that's warming the earth. But humus does a lot of other really important things too. It slows the release of water so that plants can get the amount that they need appropriately. And it also allows the minerals to be uh, taken up by the plants at the right pace. It's called mineralization so that the, the plants are getting the nutrients that they need from the soil. And it allows the pores to be a space where the roots can come and look for those things that they need. So humus is very important in uh, supporting root growth. It also can increase food security because it makes it easier to grow food by doing all these things that I've just described. And it does some things that are good for the environment too. It buffers the pH of the soil so it's not too acid and not too basic, kind of creates that middle zone. It binds heavy metals and it filters water pollution. So humus is something that we all really want and need in our gardens. So how do we make this magic? How do we make humus happen? Well, doing regenerative agriculture and supporting farmers who do regenerative agriculture, which means no-till, no toxic chemicals, making sure that you have cover crops, and also uh, allowing uh, the soil to kind of keep growing and living. That's really important, number one. A second way that you can support good humus is to compost. If you can't make your own compost, then you can certainly buy compost that's made commercially. And adding that compost is really a kickstart to the humus that you need in your soil. And you can also just appreciate that in order to have good soil that grows nutrient-dense, rich food, you really need to have good humus. And so building it up by adding plant matter, especially the animals come on their own, uh, is a really important gardening practice. So garden happy, garden safe. See you next time.